Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Uh, we have various commands in the Quran and the Hadith. Muslims are commanded to believe in Allah, they're commanded to believe in Muhammad, they're commanded to... Notice what he says, he's turning to me because he wants me to validate whatever he has to say. He wants me to validate the show. That's why I'm on the show, the ex-Muslim on the show to validate what's going on. He's asking, he's saying that there are many commands in the Quran and the Sunnah, which is true. There are many imperatives, many commands in the, in the, um, in the Quran and Sunnah. It's where Sharia, Sharia law that you keep hearing about, that's where it's derived from. Commanded to pray five times a day. They're, they're commanded things like that. Do we have that kind of command that says you need to kill daughters who dishonor their family? No, we don't have those exact words anywhere in the Quran and the Hadith that say to put, you know, disobedient children to death. So, so, oh, did you hear that? Let me let me rewind it back just in case you're confused. Let's listen again. Now, this is five minutes into the show. It's a two, it's a one, one hour and 53 minute show. Five minutes into the show, <laughs> the main people on the show have to admit there is no evidence in the primary sources of, uh, of Islam. There are no, ev there's no evidence from where Sharia law is derived from, the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then what are we going to talk about for the next one hour and 50 minutes say to put you know disobedient children to death so so we, we would have to agree with muslims at least listen there's no command to put disobedient children to death in the quran or the sunnah there may not be any such command implicitly or explicitly in the quran and the sunnah but there, are, there is an explicit, there are multiple explicit commands to put disobedient children to death in the Bible. I wish I had some clue bomb. I, I, somebody drop a clue bomb for me at this moment. Yes, that's what I said. There are explicit, not implicit, explicit commands in the Bible to put disobedient children to death. In other words, honor killing is in Honor, honor killing is in the Bible, but it's not in the Quran. So what are we going to talk about for the next hour and 50, 53 minutes now? So we're going to talk to the guy in the middle. He had uh, some girl that he was dating, that it was, he was some Arab girl he was dating, and she got supposedly she got killed by her family. And he's going to reference uh, some honor killing that took place in, Ca in, in Canada. And those are the works of criminals. You kill somebody, you murder somebody. First, if you murder somebody, Hey, eye for an eye, two for a tooth. If you murder somebody in cold blood, not in self-defense, you do it. Uh, it's it's not a judicious killing. It's not something that is um come that's from the law, anybody's law. I'm just not talking about Sharia law, civil law. Even in the Bible, Paul says that um the the ruler is a minister of God, given the sword to execute judgment. You as a uh, as a citizen, you can't execute, you can't go and be a vigilante and execute judgment on people, even your own children. You can't do that according to, to the Sharia, to the Sharia of Islam, to the Quran. And so, but guess where you can do it? You see this right here? This is online net Bible. You don't like the net Bible? Pick your own version. It, said, it says the same thing. Deuteronomy 21, 18. If a person has a stubborn, rebellious son, who pays no attention to his father or mother, and they discipline him to no avail, his father and mother must, must seize him. His father and mother must see, that's a commandment, that's an imperative. His, mother and fa his father and mother must seize him and bring him to the elders at the gate of his city. They must declare to the elders of his city, our son is stubborn, and rebellious and pays no attention to what we say. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all of the men of his city must stone him to death. 
Again, another imperative, another command. All of the men in the city must stone him to death. In this way, you will purge wickedness from amongst you, and all Israel will hear about it and be afraid. Somebody drop a clue bomb for me. Now, in case you think that's the only verse like that, see, if this was the only verse, that would be that would be um, good enough. Because, see, the point of the, 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 the ABN show is to, to uh, provoke emotion in people. The idea of, of someone killing their child because they dishonored them or because they embarrassed them, it, 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 it shouts people. It's a shocking crime, and it should be a shocking crime. It should be a shocking crime. But the purpose of uh, the Trinity Channel and David Wood and myself and Pamela Geller and these people of, uh, of presenting this to the audience is to um, besmirch Islam, to demonize Muslims, and to promote their alternative right interpretation of Christianity. Let's look at another verse. Boom. Let's go over here. The Blue Letter Bible, KJV, old school KJV, for those who uh, who only want the KJV. Right, well, here it is. Leviticus 21.9. Leviticus 21.9. Leviticus 21.9. And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. Boom. Now you can say, well, we, we don't follow that anymore. That doesn't matter. It's still revelation. Your God still revealed it. And also, let me remind you that uh, that's a modern interpretation, that whole we don't follow this anymore stuff. Well, that's just the Old Testament. Because all throughout the Middle Ages, the church was burning people and setting people on fire all over the place. And where do you think they got, where do you think the Christian church, that whether it was the Roman Catholic church or whether it was the Reformation church, they both did it. The idea of burning people at the stake, where do you think they got that from? Where do you think they got that idea from? They got it from the Bible. They read passages like Leviticus 21.9, and they implemented them in real life. They took people who were quote unquote whores, according to the, the King James Bible, who were accused of being witches or who uh, blasphemed the name of the Lord or whatever. There was a capital offense and they put them to death by burning them alive with fire. Look at Deuteronomy 22, 22. This is the pat. This is the verse immediately after the commandment to um, put your dis disobedient son to death. If a person commits a sin punishable by death and is executed, you hang the corpse on a tree. His body must not remain all night on the tree. Instead, you must make certain you bury him that same day. For the one who is left exposed on the tree is cursed by God. You must not defile your land that the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. And I'll, you can say, well, that's the Old Testament. We don't do that anymore. It doesn't matter. It's still revelation. And you used to do that. Some, some of you, your, potentially one of your ancestors may have done this. Because not only did the church put into effect Leviticus 21 and burn people all around Europe, here in America, here in America, there was a time after the Civil War, all the way up into the 50s, and it still happens from time to time still, to this day, of people hanging people on trees. It's called lynching. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, 
you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.